Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have suggestions of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the below. I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like because it helps me out for helping you guys out. And this is Boost Cools Downs by Lord Boost. And this was requested by Too Much Information, Lars Vico, Steven on PC, Bandra Bullock, <laughs> Haruka Myth. This is a way that you can charge for normal commands, add cooldowns, warms up to random commands. Uh, you can cancel warmups on move, block container. You can block the container access while the warmup is going. You can have them have potion effects while the warmup is going, which is super cool. Now it is it does require 1.8 plus. It doesn't work on 1.94 yet, but I'm sure that the author will be updating it shortly. You do need vault to charge money for stuff. And then you need an economy plugin, obviously for the money. Now, if you are running a faction plugin as well, you must set the allow no slash command to false from true to false, and then it'll start working for you. The other thing that might stop it from working for you is it's disabled for ops. So if you're an op, you won't be able to run any of these custom commands. So be sure to de-op yourself and then just give yourself the permissions that you need. And then you'll be able to do all the things. So uh, we're not really going to go over a whole lot of commands, but some of them are BCB, BCD, clear cooldowns, player, and then the command, the specific command that you want to clear. And then you have uh, BCD, clear uses, player, and then a specific command. Or if you just leave the, the command off of there, it's going to clear all of them for each player. You can clear warm-ups as well. And then the other one that's really cool is you can do limits. So you can check all of your limits that you have for all the commands available to you. Then if you're an admin, you can do BCD start global reset as well if you have the permission node for it. So let's hop in and take a look. There is an in-game command, but we're going to take a look at all the examples first. First, we're going to take a look at the server. So obviously you can see what we were actually running 1.92. I did try 194. It didn't work, had some errors. So I'm sure it'll be updated at some point. So plugins, we have boost cools down. We're running vault and then we're using essentials economy. Me. And so we're going to open up boost cooldowns and we want to jump into the config file. You're not really going to do anything in the user's file, but the config file is what we're going to take a look at. The authors provide a great annotation. I'd highly recommend that you use Notepad++ for looking at this. So you see this green and blue, it's color coded and works all this great stuff. Now you can enable or disable different types of it, warm up, cooldown, prices, item costs, XP costs. You can disable all that stuff if you want. Um, save interval cancel warm up on damage so if they get damage it cancels a warm up you can set that to true we can set that to true as well and then uh you could set it to true true all that stuff now it's set as a global scale you can't actually set that per command which is i don't know kind of unfortunate but um it is global like that you can start cooldowns on death clear cooldowns on death so when they die they get to all those cooldowns that they're waiting on, reset, all that stuff. You can put command signs so you can set this to true as well. And there's your units, seconds, minutes, all that stuff. Um, if you want to change the messages, if you want to change it to your own language, that is available. I love it when the authors do that. Or if you just want to change the color codes, any of the custom text or anything like that, it's in there. Now we get into the meat and potatoes, the commands here. Now, um, I know my head's going to be blocking some of it, but... Uh, we can run now if we try this first one this is a permissions test so basically anybody who has the who does not have the permission node nice dot permission will not be able to use this so if we go into the command and we do and we give ourselves that permission now we'll be able to run that command now it doesn't it uh it doesn't return anything there's no role command associated with it it's just a test in there the other one is the day command which shares um with the night command in here you can see and if we do the bc bcd limits you can see that um those two commands are there and they're limited to five uses so we can do day command we can do yes so now that um, we can check the limits and we can see four. So it's changed that for the night and day command, which it shares those 
limits there. So if you want to put a cooldown on a command, you have a cooldown there. So these aren't how you create custom commands. These are all going to be commands that are associated with any of the existing plugins that you have available to you. So if you have my command where you can create your custom commands, you can use this this in conjunction with that to really set some cooldowns, warm-ups, all that stuff. I think the warm-ups is the coolest feature of this. And then if you put a star in here, it's going to just say any of those commands that start with this is going to be is going to apply to this cooldown. Um, and then if you do the yet another command, this is going to have a warm-up of five seconds. It's going to have a potion effect on it, and it's going to cost $10.00 all that so that is another command yes and then you have to wait until it's warmed up and it has the weakness effect while it's warming up so let's try that again and then you can see we have weakness effect while that's warming up which is really kind of cool there's a link in in here i'll put it in the jibbles of all the potion effect names that you can use in there so here's another shared example so that it'll share with these commands it'll share that cool down so you can also have a, a limit and then have it reset per day so every 120 i think that's going to be seconds 120 seconds it's going to reset and then they can use that one in there now here's an item which requires an item you need five stone in order to do that. So you can also do this for items. So if you do test item command, yes, you don't have enough items. So we need to have, not only do we need to have the five stone, but we need to have the name of super stone and they have to have these, this lore and these enchantments in order to run this command. You can also charge people XP for running a command, which is pretty slick. So we're going to do test XP command and then it'll ask. And we don't have enough XP because we died recently, but anyway, you can see that we don't have enough XP, so it failed. Now, the other thing is groups. So you can actually group commands, which is pretty slick. So um, we've been looking at all of the default commands, which is part of the default group. So if we scroll all the way back up to the top here, you can see groups default. Now, if we scroll all the way back down, we can see that we have a VIP group here, and any of those commands will be part of that. So um, you need the boost cooldowns dot v vip uh permission node in order to run anything in that group so we can give ourselves that permission node and then we'll be able to run that so we've given ourselves that command and we're going to look at that parameters spot right here so uh the argument is going to be passed if we run ja and it's going to go slash me and then it's going to ha take each variable and then it's going to add these two other variables on the end of it so we can just do one two three and then if we keep going it's going to keep adding those and then we just hit enter so it's added those in if we want to set commands in game we can do b c d set and then we we're, we're going to do a warm up on warp star so all warp commands are going to have a five second warm up and it's set for the default group because we didn't specify the group so we're going to do one and then we're going to specify specify vip so vip is going to have only a one second cooldown and everybody else is going to have a five second cooldown so we can do warp home and then it's going to be five seconds and there it goes. So then we do warp sky wars. And now you can see that it applies to all warp commands, which is pretty slick. So I think that the one thing to note is if your groups are going to use any of these, you have to also negate the default group because you can't be a part of multiple groups. It's going to take the, the, the main group and it's going to add that to it. So the alias is the way that you can kind of do custom commands. Um, so that slash command is going to run a different command. Uh, that is how you can set up aliases. Now the user is going to need access or permission to run whatever command it is. So in this example, we ran slash me and I needed the, the permission to run that. So then you also have this global setting. It's going to be set up for all groups. You can run those commands there. I would highly recommend that you be careful with those because they are the reset 
master reset kind of commands in there. And that's about it for that. Hopefully you guys found that video helpful. Um, like I said, it, you can share it with groups, you can share co commands between each other. This is not really a custom alias type pr plugin. This is the only way that you can, or this is only meant so that you can set cooldowns, warmups, all that stuff to existing commands that you have in your game. So hopefully that gets you started. It's super powerful, so have some fun with it and set some really cool custom warm up and cooldown and charging money or XP or items for different kinds of commands. If you want them to be able to fly, they need to pay diamonds or, or whatever it is. Really cool, a lot of options for you guys. So this is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.